I mean, genetic testing has had a lot of press over the last few years. Some of it is, well, not always positive. Sometimes yeah. um, it does get negative press and people concerned about various different things. What are your thoughts about the potential downsides and is there much truth in all of that? So I think that you should always have a health professional supporting you, even if you're just looking at something like lactose, for example, because people mistake the information and they interpret it slightly wrongly. And that might mean they're being overzealous about omitting a certain food group or they've just read it wrong. You know, so we as a company actually insist on there being support available to people. It doesn't necessarily have to be loads, but it's just to make sure that that interpretation is correct and they're getting the most from it. Um, and so that's a really important point. The other thing is that people understand what they are getting into before they do it. So there are some genes that we test for although they're not in the medical kind of end of the spectrum like we talked about nhs and cancer and things like that they're still snips that people have heard about that could have quite a big impact or have a risk associated with them so like alzheimer's for example there is a gene called apoe that confers quite a high risk of late onset Alzheimer's. Now you can imagine that that could be quite scary for people to find out they've got this risk. So we want to make sure that people know ahead of time that they are testing for this and they're doing it from an informed choice perspective. They're aware of what they might find out and so we have a separate test for that because we don't want to just bundle it in with some things that are perhaps more innocent. Um, so, and then we've got education of health professionals to make sure those health professionals know how to support clients when they get those results and they know how to talk to them about it and for them not to be yeah. terrified, you know? Um, so I think that is super, super important. Um, and then I think another aspect is privacy. And I think this is huge and people absolutely should be concerned about what is happening to their very, very personal data. It's as personal as it could get. And so some companies do use data for research. They might sell it, they might share it. They're not always transparent about that. And so we don't do any of that. Basically, when you test with us, it's purely for the purpose that you sign up for, just for the report. The report is only shared with you and your health professional. So we wouldn't use that information in any other way. So it's not gonna go somewhere that might end up with an insurance company. Yeah. For example, um, so I think that is something that more people are aware of. I think so. I think so. Yeah, it makes sense. And I, I actually think one of the things that I've found, especially with other companies that tend to test more for kind of risk of certain diseases, um, that could be quite dangerous in the wrong hands, couldn't it? You know, if you you quite harmlessly think, oh, I'm just going to do this panel, when suddenly you find out you, you're at a significant risk of Alzheimer's or something else, yeah, um, that could be quite scary in the wrong hands. And like you said, you've got this spectrum as well. Some of those variants might give you a high risk. Some might be a very low risk. But still, to somebody that doesn't understand yeah. and needs somebody to explain it to them, of course, it, it could be not such a good thing and I guess as well this is where we come back to this idea of how does the environment interact with our genes what are we doing to sort of nurture and support the healthiest environment how can we bathe our genes in the healthiest environment possible and I think these are you know crucial things that even just the fundamentals right eating well living well and then we can fine-tune based yeah. on these little variants to ensure that we are living the, the best version of us right absolutely 